For this exercise, you will need, above all, for cases of aphasia where the patient has difficulty communicating, a piece of paper like this one showing the various positions of the leg. I have cut out the positions and taken the two that correspond to this calibration level. Show the sheet to your patient. Okay. It might be a good idea to show them their leg again. I want you to point to the position of this leg. If the patient is unable to fully understand, we can begin in this manner. Take the left hand, you see? It's the same. Let's do another, okay? Let's do another, okay? Now look. Which position is this? This one. This is the same. Very good. Let's move on. Now in this case, the patient has already understood that they were being asked to point in order to communicate with us. Although the patient pointed to the wrong picture, we nevertheless took a step forward in helping them understand that they need to point in order to communicate. Now we'll perform the exercise without the patient being able to see their leg and therefore eyes closed. In this case, the piece of cardboard also allows us to hide the position that the leg is in. Okay, open your eyes. What position is your leg in? Very good, very good. When the patient gives the right answer, we want to encourage them by saying, Good, excellent, that's right, good job, etc. If the patient had made a mistake like before, or rather if the patient had pointed to the position with the legs straight, which it wasn't in that case, what did I do before? I said, no, it's not that one, it's this one. Then I had the patient point to the correct position. And then I showed them the position of their legs so that they could make a visual comparison between the position that I had indicated in the end and the actual position of the leg. Good, if we're dealing with a patient with aphasia, on the other hand, we'll include a third image, the one with the leg slightly bent together with the other two that we saw in the previous level. Okay, go ahead and look. See? Now, there are three positions. Pay attention, go ahead and look, okay? It's always a good idea to let the patient watch at the beginning when we make a change to the exercise. Here you go, okay? Do you remember? You have to point, okay? Okay? Almost this one. All right. 
Now this is important. Handling an error in relation to a communication problem is slightly more simple. I didn't make the patient feel what the position they had indicated would have felt like. I simply said, no, the position is this one.